April 15th. Um, it's about 7 o'clock in the morning. I got up a little bit earlier today in hopes of having kind of a quiet morning before Sophie got up and going. Um, Bjorn is downstairs right now. He's going to record a lesson for his middle school students. He's teaching online and then he'll have his actual office hours back upstairs again in a little bit here. I got up and ready for my day. Soren is fed. He's pretty much ready for his day. And I thought I would bring you guys along with us today for whatever it may bring just kind of a normal day in the life. It's a gorgeous day outside. I, we still have snow on the ground, but I have high hopes that it'll be more springy outside, maybe by the end of the week or next week. <laughs> um, we have snow that's left over from our Easter blizzard, kind of crazy. But we might spend most of today inside working on little things or doing fun little activities that I would bring you guys along. Did you have a good rest? <coughs> Yeah, and then you got to cuddle with Daddy just a little bit extra, huh? That was so nice. I wanted to show you guys the shirt I'm wearing today. It says Homebody Forever. It's from an Etsy shop um, by my friend Blair called Blair Lamb Design, and it's perfect for now or any time, honestly. <laughs> Homebody Forever is just a perfect message. And she has long sleeve and short sleeve and different colors, all sorts of things. So definitely check out Blair Lamb Design. Super comfy and perfect for today. Oops, what a dirty mirror. I wanna go this under I know we're going somewhere Into the danger zone Real quick while I'm thinking about it, I wanted to share about my skincare routine. I've done kind of a, what they call a big girl skincare routine for maybe four years at least now. Um, I used to sell Rodan and Fields and I have nothing against Rodan and Fields. I just switched over to Beauty Counter maybe a year ago. Might be less than a year ago, but I mean, I love it. I think it's really great. This is the, basically the toner, but it says hydrating essence. I love the face wash. I've never had anything that takes off makeup as well as their um, cleansing oil, I think it's called. And yeah, I use the counter time, which is kind of the anti-aging, because you might as well start in your 20s, <laughs> the anti-aging skincare regimen. So yeah, I, I really have loved my beauty counter stuff. I don't sell it. I'm not going to sell it, um, but I just wanted to share. I really have been enjoying Beauty Counter. He's gotten so good at grabbing things with his hands. You're just so good at grabbing stuff. Yes. Soren turns five months. Let's see if today's the 15th. You turn five months old on Sunday. Today's Wednesday. You have a few more days till you're five months old. Big boy. I was going to go downstairs, but Bjorn started recording, and I don't really feel like making a bunch of noise for him. Also, I got distracted with um, Oh Crap Potty Training, which Sophie is potty trained. I know I talked about this book before, but she has like a good question and answer section in the back for any bumps along the road, that kind of thing. So I'm just rereading little parts in it. I do want to say, so the author uses some language, which sounds really funny for like a potty training book, but she's just like kind of a sassy author, if you know what I mean. So I don't totally love like all of her wording for things, but in certain parts of the book she sure is funny and she's, she's an opinionated author and just has a lot of really good tips, so just kind of wanted to offer that caveat for it. It's a really good book. I just I don't totally love her wording on things, but I mean she has her opinions and she definitely has great tips and a lot of experience. So I still would recommend the book. It's just kind of be aware that it might not be as like I don't know dull as you would expect a potty training book to be. She's got some sass. <laughs> I also also um, made our bed and I can hear Sophie which means I'm not going to sit and, here, I'm not going to sit and have as much computer work time, but, I mean, you can't be frustrated all the time. 
kind of the nature of having kids is that you open yourself up to your schedule will not go perfectly as you might desire. Um, I can still do some computer work and stuff. We have an online library story time that we've been watching at 10.30 every morning. I don't really plop Sophie down in front of a show other than like if Bjorn is busy or sometimes as a family we'll watch like M Mr. Rogers or Curious George which she calls Monkey George. So those are kind of her two main shows is Mr. Rogers and Curious George. But that's just like during like meal times. I, well, not every meal time, but you know, like maybe once a day she'll do that. But we'll do a library story time sometimes during this like social distancing period because more and more libraries are doing, are offering online things. What kinds of fun online activities have you guys discovered for your kids. I'm really curious, so please comment down below and tell me what you've found. I know even some zoos are offering like online tours and behind the scenes stuff too. Really fun. So I guess I'll just keep reading a little bit up here. Um, Soren is hanging out in his bassinet, kind of chattering at me, and I will head downstairs and make tea soon and then we'll grab Sophie. Are you sitting with daddy? Before daddy has to go upstairs, right? Sweet boy. Mm. Good morning. How are you, honey? Did you have a good rest? You were reading a book? Okay, let's show our friends. This is one of our favorite books of all time. So Sophie has a couple new shirts that came in the mail because I've mentioned this before but I get all of my kids clothes, 90 to 95% of my kids clothes from an app called Kidizen and moms buy and sell used or new kids clothes. So this right here for example is an old navy long sleeve shirt, isn't that cute? And I guarantee it was just... Right. A few bucks. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. That's right. And Sophie's going to wear one of her new shirts. This one was another new one that I've now washed. I'm sure the moms have washed things when they sell them, but I still another wash one. them. Another, another one? Yeah. Well, you do have new black leggings. These are those new leggings that came the other day. Also from Kitizen. I will link below... Um, Five dollars for free for you guys to use at uh, on the Kinizen app. Sophie has her new leggings on. What do they have, honey? Pockets. <laughs> Pockets. I sure do. Okay. Wait, I'll take you downstairs, hun. We have really steep old wooden stairs in this house, so I do take the kids up and down the stairs. Well, obviously Soren, but I still take Sophie down the stairs because they're very steep. Sophie, what are you asking Daddy to make? Coffee. <laughs> she looks like she needs coffee. It's not actually coffee. coffee. It's warm milk. Warm milk. <laughs> yeah. It's your coffee. Oh. It's Sophie's coffee. I got coffee. Daddy's making you coffee. Tea. Yeah, her hot vanilla milk with a tiny bit of sugar. That's a special fun drink, isn't it? <laughs> Oofta. <coughs> Did you know not everybody says oofta? Oofta. Sophie's biggest thing to say lately has been oofta gracious, which is hilarious. Oofta gracious. <laughs> I thought we should all adopt that phrase, right? Everyone say oofta gracious. Are you guys honey or sugar people for your tea? I kind of do both equally, although sugar was more accessible this morning. Look at this sweet girl. What do you want to do today? Just play with Sophie toys. Come on. She wants you to see your, her new pockets. <laughs> Sophie and I are playing a puzzle called Head to Tail, and it's awesome because every animal, these are actual pictures of animals, of course, and then um, every animal has a head, a body, and a tail. I see a zebra head over there. Can you get the zebra head? 
These aren't just two pieces, you know, so it's a step further for kids who are ready for head, body, tail. You're so sweet to these animals. and various morning things have happened. We did some fun puzzles and danced and sang and Soren ate again and now he's down for his morning nap. I'm thinking of making some, we call them yummy balls. Hi honey. But um, energy bites or energy balls, I have to check the pantry for ingredients to see which ones I will make, but I will leave a link to a recipe below as well. the finished product I will link the recipe below if you're interested one of my favorite sides to make that's really easy is winter mix or roasted broccoli or roasted cauliflower I'm just gonna roast the whole thing in the oven I always just dump it out on the pan on aluminum foil and I drizzle olive oil or avocado oil on top then I stir it around with some salt pepper garlic powder or garlic like minced garlic today I did a little of both and then Parmesan cheese. Stir it around and then you can roast it for like 20 minutes or whenever it's done. But yeah, that's a super easy side, really, really good. Our family loves it. This thing, this chopper, did such a great job with the almonds and peanuts for those yummy balls, for the energy balls I made earlier. This chopper did a great job, so I will link it below. I use this when I want uniform, small pieces of something. So not necessarily like cutting larger chunks of bell peppers or something, but definitely like nuts. Then the nuts don't, you know, bounce all around the room while you're trying to chop them on a cutting board, but also um, onions. So while we're waiting for the water to boil and the broccoli and cauliflower to roast, I thought now would be a good time to see what we think of a new pillow cover. Right now it's a snowflake. See that Sophie? Okay, see what this is right now? What is this? That's a snowflake. snowflake. So this is the new pillowcase that I got from Jane.com. I thought it would be perfect for our living room for more of a springy look. At some point, we don't want to be decorating with snowflakes even though we do live in Minnesota. So let's see. Sophie, where's the pillow? Also, where's Sophie? Look at this, this is a pillow cover. This goes on top of our pillow. Are you ready? We stuff this inside, okay? okay. Now, we're going to put the snowflake towards the back. Okay. And then mama's gonna just carefully tuck it in, really gently. I have to turn it around a little bit. I'm not really worried about absolute perfect sizing. I just wanted a cute little decoration. Is this one? I know this wasn't very much, um, so I will link it below if I can. Jane.com is a daily deals site, so it might not be up still, but we can at least link to their shop. Yep. Zip, can you help me finish zipping? Yeah. Sophie's yeah. gonna zip it, and then we'll show our friends and see what we think of our new pillow. Oop, that's a tricky one. All right, let's... See how it looks, ready? Oh, look how cute that is. Do you like it? It's our spring pillow and it goes here. So Sophie's gonna try it out. That looks so nice. Doesn't that look springy? That was a nice little purchase. Okay. What do you think? Is it comfortable? No. It's not comfortable? Well, it's the same pillow that was there before. It's just the snowflake part is hiding. So there's a small joy for today.
That is a very cute yeah. pillow. All right, we just finished up lunch and I'm gonna clear the table off and start doing dishes. I'm going to listen to a podcast, The Office Ladies, while I do the dishes. Usually I listen to that podcast while we're driving to our Bible study on Wednesday mornings, but obviously we have nothing on the calendar. So I will just listen to it while I'm doing tasks around the house. But if you haven't heard of The Office Ladies, it's a show for people who love the show, The Office. And it's all about different episodes of The Office. It's hosted by the women who play Pam and Angela on The Office. So if you like that kind of thing, you might want to check it out. Okay guys, I just found out that a coffee shop is coming to the town near us and I'm very, very, very excited because I've lived here almost seven years without a coffee shop, um, like an official small chain, any kind of chain coffee shop. And I grew up going to Starbucks to work on homework, that kind of thing. I'm seriously so excited. I have to tell my friends who live in this town. Oh, yes, um, I mean, we might spend a little more money going to that coffee shop, but I'm really, really excited. Do you guys enjoy going to coffee with friends or working on your computer at a coffee shop? That is just such a big like memory or part of my childhood or teen years for me, so I'm very excited, which it's hard to kind of explain my excitement unless you've lived in a small town. About once a day, these two find themselves cuddling and, they, and Sophie asks for a blanket. I just finished feeding Soren. He just got up from a nap. I talked with my mom for a while on the phone, which was nice. And Bjorn just left for left to do some farm work for a while this afternoon. And Sophie is still asleep upstairs, so hopefully I can get a little um, computer work done, get some vlog work done. I don't want to get too far behind on the vlogs. Hi, honey. Who's up there? Who's that? I'm seriously loving that new pillow cover. It's so bright and happy in this room. It matches like the cream colored stuff I've got going on. Yay. We have to celebrate spring, right Sorian? Even if there's snow outside. So Sophie just woke up after like a three hour nap. She's She must have been really tired today. And I'm gonna go get her. Then I think we might I don't know. I kind of think I might make more energy balls. So the ones I made this morning are really good, but they're not Bjorn's favorite just because he doesn't like like almonds and stuff. Some people don't. And so I think out of my love for my husband, I might make sure he has a stash of the other kind of energy balls that our family likes too. Um, so maybe Sophie would like to help me do that. We'll see what we end up doing, but that's an idea. Did you have a good rest? Look what Sophie found! Her half birthday crown! And tomorrow's your half birthday! So it's fun to try it on today. You wore this when you were six months old. And our Target order came, which is awesome. We live over an hour away from a Target, so I'm always excited when we get our Target boxes. Got really high on your head there. Okay, Sophie, we want to show what we got from Target. This is an awesome basket. I think we could put a plant in here or just store toys, pretty much anything. But I saw it recommended by another mom. Sophie's getting the sticker off. Oh my, both stickers off. So this is special lotion that I like to wear for my hands. I have really like dry hands. So that helps a lot. Can we, here, let's tell them what it is. Cetaphil Pro Restoraderm. Okay, now we'll show this one. This is my favorite dry shampoo, Dove Care Between Washes, and this is the volume and fullness. 
Thank you for helping. This is the Real Techniques um, makeup blending sponge or whatever. I'm not a makeup artist, what is it? Miracle Complexion Sponge. I use this to blend my makeup every day. And this one is my one of my favorite ever mascaras that I use. I actually use two different kinds every morning. I just kind of got in the routine of a couple different types. But this is deep cocoa color. So Bjorn just called me on his way home from doing some farm work and asked if I had a grocery list ready, which I Hi. did not. Hi, honey. I'm sitting by Soren. He's a little sad. Hi, hon. I did not have a grocery list ready, but I scrambled and I put one together in about 10 minutes, which I usually take a lot longer. Um, so it's really, really nice of Bjorn to pick up groceries. I just did not do my planning very well, and we'll see how this turns out for the next week or less, maybe. Sophie, you want to say hi? Wait, I, I, okay. What do you want to show them? Um, Sophie, tell me. Okay, now. So I did a project yesterday and the day before. Sophie helped me, remember? And she and I, let's not stand on your puzzles though. Thank you. Um, she and I built this three layer shelf. It came from Target, it was like 29 bucks. And I'm really pleased with it because we just had that awkward amount of space to the left of the fish tank. Of course, I'm not really a fan of making the space look any more cluttered, but you probably saw in past videos we had been stacking her KiwiCo crates and stuff like that. So we might as well, if we're going to stack it there, if that's kind of the system, at least for now that shelf can be there. And we already were picking out puzzles this morning, which you'll see in this vlog, or which you just saw earlier. Um, picked out more puzzles this morning because we saw them better instead of stacking them and piling them. I guess when in, when in doubt, try not to stack things in piles. <laughs> Sophie's playing with stickers. Soren is trying to decide if he's happy or not. He's usually so happy. Oh, you hear mama talking. So Bjorn is home from the grocery store. He found a lot of good stuff. He's really good at finding good deals, but he also, of course, picked up stuff on my list too. So I think we're really set for the week and recipes. Soren is asleep back there in his Dakotot. Um, I promise that I hold him more than it appears on these videos. <laughs> I feel like whenever I get a second to actually pause and kind of show you what's going on, he's asleep over there on the floor. But anyway, he gets tons of cuddle time with both Bjorn and me and Sophie too. So don't worry about him. It's just this is when I'm able to stop. <laughs> We're about to start supper. We're having leftover mac and cheese for supper. And yeah, we'll continue with our evening. It's about 8.20. Sophie got to bed a little bit ago. Um, she was so sweet. She called after me, love you so much, whole wide world, which is how she says that she loves you. Cause she, yeah, anyway, it's so cute. Love you so much, whole wide world. And then she told me to have dreams about books. Dream about books. So I'll try to do that tonight. <laughs> um, Bjorn just made popcorn and we're gonna have popcorn because we're not creatures of habit at all if you've seen my other vlogs. <laughs> um, but we'll have chips and queso too. And Soren is asleep right next to me on the floor here. If you like this kind of video, I really enjoy sharing little peeks into our life this way. So please give it a thumbs up so I know to make more videos like this. Um, please subscribe to my channel as well because you'll be notified better than um, when new videos come out. Again, thank you so much for watching. I am so grateful you're here. Hope you are having a good day wherever you're at and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.